How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And before we get started, I want to say happy Thanksgiving to my YouTube family south of the border in the United States. I hope that you're having a good one. So today we're going to be talking about prog stock. I'm getting a lot of questions. Dre, what do you think is going to be happening on Friday? And I was saying when I was doing my videos that there is a gap that needed to be filled at $3.53. I got a lot of flack about it. I got a lot of hate about it. The stock did end up pulling back to around $3.60. I want to see that gap get filled. But for the most part, from a technical sense, Prog still looks strong. I'll talk about it further inside of this video. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is the technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance. We want to know what what it looks like in a bullish case scenario and as well as in a bearish case scenario. And then we're going to be going on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information. The reason why the short interest is important, it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know what is the buying and as well as the selling behavior like on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get Get to it. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis for Prague. Let's see how it performed on Wednesday. So we could see it close at $3.75, being down 6.02%. On the low, it tested $3.60, and then on the high, testing $3.88. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you could see we traded at 27.244 million shares. And then for the average volume over 10 trading days, being at 103. 3.941 million shares. So that is well below the average and it's part of the reasons why we ended up seeing some pressure on Prague stock. Now, when we take a look at our chart, which is a daily chart, you can see from the RSI down below, it is right around 53.09. And then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart, we have strength above the 100 day, the 50 day, the 200 day, and as well as the 21 day EMA. It is at $3.73 and we were able to close that three dollars and 75 cents so like i was talking about in my previous videos for Prague, i was telling you to look out for that gap fill so on the wednesday we ended up testing 360 in order to fill in this gap we'd have to test right here around three dollars and 53 cents to be exact so can we get this pullback happening on the friday most definitely and if it does happen i think it'll be very healthy because then we can consolidate in this range and then look forward for that next move up as far as the move we're looking for of course is going to be right here at this four dollar level we know it's going to be a psychological area it's going to be a resistance area i won't be surprised if we have a lot of selling pressure but if we have a lot of volume coming into the play we should be able to push past four very quickly but of course we have a next resistance area right here around 421 and then have to see how well it would move from there but for the most part i am still bullish on this play we still have strength above our moving averages and if we decide to pull back to 350 you guys know i'm looking for consolidation and that next move up but do know we do have continued strength as long as we stay above three dollars which is right in line right above the 200 day so let's see how prog performs going in on friday so we're going to be taking a look at the short interest information for prog as you can see for the dark pool short volume ratio is at 48.35 percent and then for the dark pool short volume being just over 7.44 million shares as we scroll down further on the page, the short shares availability is at 750,000 updated seven minutes ago. And then for the short ball free rate, it is at 63.69%. So it remains to stay high. This is something we have been used to. Now, when we take a look at the history of the short volume, we could see for the close of the 23rd, it was at 53.36. And then for the close of the 24th, which was yesterday, being at 48.35. 
So yes, we did have a reduction, but one thing that is still clear, Prague continues to have short squeeze potential. And it's part of the reasons why you do see a lot of volatility in this play. And this is why it is very important that you have a strategy before jumping in. So now let's get into the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for Prague. So we could see here on the inflow, it was at 21.09. And then for the outflow, it was at 20.02. When we take a look at the breakdown even further on the large, it was 1.05. On the medium, it was 14.41. And then on the small, it was 5.63. When we take a look at the outflow side, it was on the large at 0 0.19. Then on the medium, it was 14.22. And then on the small, it was 5.61. Keep in mind, these numbers are in the millions. When we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for November the 24th, which was the Wednesday that just passed, it being that inflow of 856.02. Now, taking a look at the breakdown even further for the small scale orders, which represents the retail side, we ended up having more buying than we had selling, but it was fairly close there. And then when we take a look at the medium, we had more buying than we had selling. And again, it was very close. And then when we take a look at the large, which potentially could represent institutions and funds and so forth, we had more inflow than we had outflow. And of course, we realized this when we took a look at the large scale orders. Now, when we take a look at the turnover ratio, though, we could see it was at 16.64%. So what this tells me right away, there's a lot of traders going in and out of this play and it contributes to the overall volatility. So this is why if you are going to be taking a position, you want to make sure you're getting it at an area of support. You want to make sure you're maximizing your overall entry because the last thing that you want to do is go into the play and you're down big holding the bag. But one thing that is very clear though, there is demand for prog shares. So now let's jump into the final thoughts and we're going to go over some more details as well. So for my final thoughts going into Friday, be prepared for a lot more volatility. Like I said, this this stock needs to fill the gap at $3.53. So if we end up having a pullback further than the $3.60 that we ended up seeing on the Wednesday, do not be surprised. And for the next point, let's talk about the recent pullback that it had. One of the things that you want to know about, the company says that they want to raise capital. There were warrants that were exercised and what they're saying is now they have some cash that should be able to last them for the next 12 months. So this is why in regards to swing traders, they see an opportunity opportunity here and the fact that you know what they're not going to be doing anything soon so there is a good chance that this stock has the opportunity to move so this is why you need to make sure that you're doing your homework and you're doing your due diligence before getting into this play and this makes me want to talk about when we went on fintel taking a look at the short interest information it still continues to have short squeeze potential we still have the short borrow fees that we've been talking about on this channel for quite some time so this is why i say keep it on your watch list there are some opportunities here and I want to make sure you're in the best position to actually take advantage of them. And what that means, you don't just go in and buy this stock blindly. You got to have a strategy in regards to your entries and as well as for your exits. So overall, the most bullish case scenario for Prague would be to actually fill in that gap, have some consolidation and then make that move to the upside so we can get back above $4. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's see how it trades on Friday. Do keep in mind, it is going to be a short day, but do know I will continue to give you guys updates, especially in regards to his performance on the Friday. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.